task is to find out uh, our next topic is generation of generator matrix from cyclic code now we should know what is generator matrix generator matrix is a kind of matrix from which we can also find out the code word if the message bit is given to you likewise the uh, generator polynomial from if the message polynomial is given to you and the generator polynomial is given to you then you can also find out the coded polynomial likewise if the message bit is given to you and the generator matrix is also given to you then you can can also get the uh, code word from the formula that is the uh, uh, that is the code word equals to generator matrix into message bit so using this formula you can also find out the code word so therefore generator matrix is a important term in case of coding system so here we am i am discussing how the generator matrix will be can created from cyclic code or for cyclic code so what is a generator matrix generator matrix is a combination of identity matrix generator matrix is created or it is a combination of identity matrix first plus parity matrix identity matrix means the it is a matrix where the number of column and number of row are same and the format of identity matrix is suppose it is a uh, i3 matrix so if it is i3 matrix the format will be uh, it has three row and three column and the format of this is 100 010 001 it is your format of identity matrix that means ones are diagonally placed for each column uh, for each row and then uh, other bits are zero that means in first row one is placed on the right uh, left hand side and rather two bits are or the remaining bits are zero in case of uh, second row this one is shifted one bit and remaining part are also zero and by this way all the rows are created if it is i4 then it is again there are four row and the format of identity matrix is this again this this and last one is this so by this way you can find out any identity matrix and the parity matrix is consist of some bits and this generator matrix is created first suppose it is a 3 uh, column matrix 3 by 3 matrix if a generator matrix consist of 3 by 3 mat matrix then the format of this matrix will be first term will be this sorry it is a four uh, it should be a th more than 3 it is suppose it is 5 5 by 3 matrix so then we have put a gap and remaining two bits that means three bit is already um, placed here so i have only two bits these two bits are placed here and it it is a parity bit it may be 1 1 0 1 One zero, it will be um, calculated here, or it is a separate process. But whichever the value, it is called the uh, parity matrix. So here, parity matrix is this. So that means a generator matrix is consist of identity and parity matrix both. 
so by this way you can get the general matrix now here our task is to find out the uh, general matrix from cyclic code now if we are talking about nk cyclic code then from that we can say there are n number of column and k number of row present in a nk cyclic code so if we construct the generator matrix from cyclic code we have to find out identity and parity matrix identity matrix is known to uh, you uh, by this way we can get the identity matrix but we have to find out parity matrix first because after calculating the parity matrix or the length of parity matrix only we can find out the identity matrix or the length of identity matrix so therefore we use the following formula so first row of parity matrix will be r of x to the power n minus 1 by gx where gx is the generator polynomial similarly second row of uh, parity matrix will be r of x to the power n minus 2 by gx by this way third row of parity matrix will be x to the power n minus 3 by gx likewise we can calculate up to k row this k row where the parity bit for k row will be x to the power n minus k by gx now let us consider a problem where we can understand the topic more elaborately if generator polynomial of cyclic code 7 4 is given by gx equal to x s cube x plus 1 then construct is generator matrix so it is our question problem so our solution will be here generator polynomial for the cyclic code is given which is this and we have to construct generator matrix so here n equals to 7 and k equals to 4 now if we see the structure of generator matrix then it would like n is 7 and k is 4 that means first 4 bit will be in form of generator matrix and last 3 bits will be the parity matrix because uh, k is the parity bit you already know that if n and k is given then we can find out p as 3 so if th p is 3 that means length of parity matrix is also 3 that means left last 4 bits are always 3 so therefore the first 4 bit is the form of identity matrix so i write here 1 0 0 this 4 bit in form of identity matrix so i can find out all the identity form it is 0 1 0 0 it is 0 0 1 0 and it is 0 0 0 1 now we have to find out the parity matrix so 
Now, here we know the identity matrix, but we have to find out the parity matrix. For that, we have to consider the previous formula that we have already discussed. The first formula will be for, for finding the first row. It will be uh, Rx, that means remainder polynomial will be calculated from x to the power. So, formula will be R of x to the power n minus 1 by gx for first row. So, here I am calculating this n minus 1 that n equals to here 7. So, I write here 7 minus 1 that is x to the power 6 and then it is and then it is divide with the generator polynomial which is x is q x plus 1. This term is divided by generator polynomial as it is instructed here. So, similar process x to the power 4, uh, sorry, it is x to the power 3, x to the power 3 plus 4 plus x is cube, 6 term is not here, x to the power 4 plus x is cube, x, x to the power 4, x square plus x, x is cube, x square plus x, 1. So, it is x is cube, x plus 1. So, the remainder will be here. You can see this x can cancel, this x also cancel. So, our remainder term is x square plus 1. So, I write here x square plus 1 for this row. Just put here or write here. Similarly, the second term will be calculated same way. It is only the difference is here you have to calculate remainder of this. x to the power n minus 2 by gx. So, it is n minus 2 that means it is x to the power 5. So, x to the power 5 is divided with this. It is x to the power 5, x is cube plus x is square. These two are cancelled, x is cube plus x is square plus um, it is 1 because these two terms are same. So, it is x is cube x plus 1 which gives these two are cancelled. So, our answer is x square x plus 1. So, I write here x square x plus 1. Similarly, I can calculate the third term also. It is here n minus 3. So, it is n minus 3 means 7 minus 3 that is 4. So, x is cube x plus 1 that is gx is divided with x to the power 4. So, it will be x to the power 4 x square plus x. These two are cancelled. x square and x. It is not no further divisible because these two, this term is lower than this. So, here I can write x square plus x. And the last term will be
एन माइनस फोर सो इट विल बी एक्स एक्स क्यू सो एगेन जी एक्स इज डिवाइडेड विथ एक्स क्यू इट गिवस वन सो एक्स क्यूब एक्स प्लस वन सो द रिमेंडर पार्ट विल बी एक्स प्लस वन सो आई आई राइट हियर एक्स प्लस वन सो दिस रिमेंडर पॉलिनोमियल वी कैन बाई दिस वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट रिमेंडर पॉलिनोमियल now our term is to find out the bits so it is x square plus 1 so based on the remainder polynomial we have to find out the corresponding bit so among these three bit it is three bit therefore this it is x square plus 1 so the uh, bits are 1 0 1 here for these three term that means here parity bits are three bit therefore we have to calculate the polynomial based on this three bit for the parity uh, bit uh, it is parity polynomial and the parity bit length of the parity bit is 3 so therefore we have to check the polynomial uh, function and to convert it into code word by checking this bit so here as the bit is 3 therefore the coefficient form will be 0 into or uh, that means 0 or 1 it may be uh, the bits itself is uh, multiplied with x to the power 2 plus again bits is multiplied with x and the bits is multiplied with x to the power 0 so here this and check this formula uh, matching this two term we can easily calculate the bit it is 1 0 it is 1 1 1 because all three terms are present here here x square and x part are present so it is 1 1 and x and 1 these two are already present that means this term is present and this term is present therefore it is 0 1 1 so it is our final answer so it is our generator matrix for 7 4 cyclic code hope all of you understand the topic give your response so that i can move on the next topic of cyclic code so here so here an exercise is given to you suppose consider a 7 3 7 3 7 3 and the generator polynomial is also given to you that is x to the power 4 plus x square plus x plus 1 so your term is to find out the generator matrix for that code it is your exercise do it yourself and send me the answer